Here we're going to be looking at simplifying some more thirds. Okay, these are going to be a little bit more complicated than the previous examples. So the first thing to do, as I suggested in the instruction video, was to write down the square numbers first, so you know what you're working with. If you can do this in your head, perfect, well, excellent. Uh, if not, if you're not so happy with it, write down the square numbers first, it will always help you. So we've got one squared, that one we don't really, really need here. So we've got two squared is four, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25, then 36, 49, 64, then 81, and then 100. Okay, and of obviously the list keeps going, but they will do. Okay, so if I want to simplify each of these, the technique that I'm using is that technique where we had the square root of a b is equal to the square root of root a times root b, okay? That is what we're using here. So we want to find a square number that goes in to each of these numbers here, which is a factor of each of these numbers. So 50, if we look down our list, 25 is a factor of 50, so I can write square root of 50 as the square root of 25 times 2, okay? So 25 is the square number that I'm looking for, and the 2 is what I need to multiply 25 by to get 50. That allows me to then split this into the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. The square root of 25 we know is 5, so I can just write it as 5 root 2. For the second one here, root 27, I look down the list, try to find the factor, which in this case is 9, Okay, so I can write root 27 as 9 times 3. I can then split the third into root 9 times root 3. Root 9 is 3, so this is 3 root 3. Okay, and it's as straightforward as that. And when you get more confident with these, it's likely that you start to lose these intermediate steps, and you can start to think of root 27 straight as 3 root 3. Okay, as you build in confidence. Let's go for this next one, root 48. Now, square root 48, I can look down this list, and I might go, well, I know that 4 goes into it, okay, so I could go with 4. Or, you could think to yourself, well, actually, looking down this list, I know that 16 could go into it three times. So that would save me a little bit of bother. Now, you can go straight in doing the 4 if you like, Okay, so you would get 4 lots of 12, okay? And then you could say to yourself, oh, well, 4 times 12, 12 is 4 times 3. So this is 4 times 4 times 3. 4 fours are 16, so that's 16 times 3 square rooted. So that just simplifies to root 4, oh, sorry, 4 root 3. Get it around the right way. There we go. Okay. So that would be root 48. For the last one, root 200, once again, you might go, well, I know 4 goes into it. I know that 25 goes into it. But then you should always be thinking, oh, is there a larger, square, uh, a larger square number that goes into it? And the larger one is the 100. So I can write this as the square root of 100 times 2, which will be square root of 100 times by the square root of 2, so that's 10 root 2, okay? And that is how we can simplify those four.